everybody except for you. Hi, Cindy. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How can I help? So my name is Kim, and I have a holiday party every year where a I invite party. all my friends, all my family. But I really want to invite my cousin to this party, but I don't want to invite her husband. He has a bad attitude. He eats all the food. <laughs> and <laughs> I just don't really want him around. Wendy, please help me. How do I tell my cousin I want her there, but I don't want her husband there? When you saw me just go like this, I was looking to see if you were wearing a wedding ring. No! Because <laughs> if, if you were, you would know the answer to this question. But he has to come. He's got to come. Okay. And here's the thing. You put up with him for one, one day per year, and you see your cousin besides. No matter how much champagne you drink, do not... Please don't talk to your cousin about this at the party. I try not or, to. And don't talk to him about the party. Just let him eat up the food. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, you know what I mean? Just just one day, okay? But you can't split up couples for the holidays. Okay, thank okay? you, Wendy. You're welcome. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. How can I help? Okay, Wendy, so I've been dating this guy for six months. Yeah. He has two kids, mm -hmm. seven and ten. I have none. So every time he has them over, he never invites me over. And two, he, when I do see him with his kids, he never introduced me as his girlfriend. Should I be concerned? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How old are you? 27. What are you doing with a guy with two kids? It's tough, Wendy. <laughs> not really. See, people think that all men are in jail or gay. They're not. There are so many qualified men out there to date you that don't have kids. You don't need a 27-year-old young lady. What do you do for a living? I'm a public health analyst. See? Uh, that sounds very fancy. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, no, this is my opinion. This is bigging you up. A 27-year-old girl with a fancy job does not need to be dealing with a man with twins. I'm sure he's a perfectly lovely man, as many men are with twins. But I just feel at 27, if you were my daughter, I would not want you dating a guy with twins or kids. So this conversation is moot as far as I'm concerned. Okay? Thank you. All right. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. <laughs> my name is Tamala. How you doing? Very well, Tamala. <laughs> Happy holidays. How can I help? Thank you. My mother, who is this wonderful, vivacious, fun-loving person, okay. she has this horrible habit that I really need her to break. Okay. She likes to put unsightly photos of me on Facebook. <laughs> no matter how many times I ask this lady not to do it and threaten to do it back, she laughs, she thinks it's funny, and she continues to do it. Wendy... Should I get her back and post unsightly pictures of her on Facebook? Or do I just let her keep on tormenting me? Now, let me ask you something, Tamala. Yes. When you talk to your mother about this, mm -hmm. is your delivery the way you're delivering to me? <laughs> because, you know, I think you're, like, like you're adorable, but you're doing it in a very girl-friendly kind of way. And you and I are about the same age. I might be a little older than you, which means our moms are... How old your mom? She is 65. Okay. Then she's a lot younger than my mother, <laughs> no, which is all the more reason that she should understand what she's saying, and it's not cute. Now, what you need to do when you talk to her, instead of the girlfriend thing, you talk to her like you are not playing. And, and, and if, it's, if it's... Listen, she's going to do what she's going to do, but, it, but it's, it's not cute. But you can't smile, okay. you know, because everybody understands what you're saying as long as your delivery is on point. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So you need to talk. Don't talk to your mother cute. Okay. Talk to her like I'm not having it. Like, this needs to stop now, mother. No, no, she's that's not. No, you're being oh, girlfriendy. Girl yeah, okay. see if you can muster up a tear while you talk to her. <laughs> okay. No, okay, okay, sit down and practice. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, Wendy. My name is Simone. How you doing? Hi, Simone. How can I help? So I had this coworker for about a year now. I knew her. We hang out. And she every time she sees a picture of my man, she goes, oh, he's fine. Or, oh, he looks really good. So I'm thinking she has a crush on my man. So how do I tell her to stop without sounding too rude or jealous? It's not about being rude or jealous. You have to tell her direct. Because to me, straight talk makes for straight understanding. Yes. You know, you can say my man looks good once and that's it. But all this commenting on him, and no, I'm not threatened by you. Mm -hmm. It's just that you need to learn the bounds of appropriate behavior. Mm -hmm. And so I'm telling you right now, stop commenting on, ooh, my man, ooh, my man. Yes. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. I don't like that. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? My Good. name is Tamika. Hi, Tamika. Um, I've been with my boyfriend now for about a year and a half. Okay. And for Christmas, I got us both tickets to Jamaica. Fantastic. Now, my question is, do I also have to pay for the hotel when we get there? <laughs> 
Okay, now wait a minute. Does your boyfriend have the kind of job where he can just pull out a credit card and, and get the ho hotel once you get there? Yes. Okay. In addition, don't forget you have your gift card thanks to the Wendy Show for yeah. Hotel. Yeah. So have a great trip. Hi, Wendy. My name is Stacey. How you doing? Hi, Stacey. How can I help? Wendy, I have an 11-year-old daughter, and she's been asking me to shave her legs. I say, heck no. You are too young. You should be at least 15, 16, at least in high school. So I'm wondering, what do you think? Pick up a razor and show her how. <laughs> what? Oh, Listen, no, 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 because there are some people who have hairier bodies than others. And at 11 years old, I don't feel as though she's too young to shave her own legs. But I do think that you should show her how. Remember the first time you shaved your legs and you cut up your whole shin bone? <laughs> That's true. Because your I mom didn't show you properly. You get her some shaving cream and you, you put the legs up. Yes. 11. Mom, the world is changing fast. Okay? Okay. Good luck. She'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Adam. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Adam. So I've been dating this guy for two months now. Mm -hmm. I really like him, but hate his house. It's a complete zoo. He's got four turtles, three cats, a dog, a lizard, fish, and two snakes, which I'm really paranoid about because he told me they got out once. So he keeps asking me to sleep over, and I, I don't really don't want to. I don't know what to do. I can't breathe. I, <laughs> you, you, had me, you had me at turtle. Turtles have four, salmonella. Four <laughs> salmonella. Um, you have to tell him. Be honest. How long have you been dating him? Two months. Just over two months. Over two months. Okay, so this could be a deal breaker, but that's okay. I, I, I couldn't even eat a sandwich at somebody's house with that many animals. You know? There's just something a little skeevy. in the garage. <laughs> in the garage. Um, but he has to go out there and touch them and pet them. And when he comes in, does he wash his hands? Yeah. All right. Uh, just tell him. That, that, tell him that the animals are freaking you out. to come to my house yes, all the time. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Particularly the snake, yes. Yeah. All yes. right? <laughs> Good luck. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Um, my question is that... Um, Nobody I, can hear you. Oh, hi. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. So I used to talk to this guy at work. We fell off. I recently became his manager. Uh -huh. So now he doesn't take his job serious when I'm on the shift, like, with the other managers. How do I demand his respect? Do the other co-workers know you used to see each other? No. Okay. One does, and he told me I need to speak up. Well, the, you know, this is one of the sloppy things about, you know, That's dating where, where you work, uh, unfortunately. It was fine. It, but this is what you do. Uh, you be even harder on him then. Okay. And, and if you have to speak up and speak to one of your supervisors and let the supervisor know what's going on, then you're going to do that too because it's your job versus his job and yes. you want your job. You don't do. care about him. Yes. All right? Thank All right. You. Good luck, young lady. You. That'll learn you. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Ashley. How you doing? Hey, Ashley. How can I help? I met a guy two months ago. Our first date was fantastic. Mm -hmm. We've tried to schedule a second date and he's canceled twice. Oh. Uh, you met him where? Online. Okay. He texts me every day, so I think he's interested. Should I let it go? Okay, this is really sketchy, because there are some people, I will label them cowards. Mm -hmm. They are cowardice to stand in their own truth, and they feel as though they're going to hurt the other people's feelings. All he has to do is tell you that he's not interested, mm -hmm. as opposed to stringing you along. I have a, why did he cancel the, the your, uh... A flat tire. Okay. Oh. That's not a cancellation, that's a, you know... I don't know. I didn't. I don't know if I believed him. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. Why did he cancel the second date? He was working the, late. Working late. <laughs> Here's my thought, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask our other co-host. Okay. I don't think he's into you. Clap if you feel the same. <laughs> yeah. That. So okay. this is what you're going to do. This okay. is what you're going to do. We're going to stop this texting every day. You're going to call him like a civilized human being. Because mm -hmm. you don't talk on the phone, right? You He's just never text. Called me. See? See? But, but <laughs> that, that's also a sign of the times. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's just that there's nothing right with it either. It's okay. a sign of the times. Yep. You're going to call him like a human being. Okay. And you're going to say to him, listen, you know, I thought we had such a great time on our first date, but you've canceled twice. And all we do is text. You know, I'm a big girl. If you're not that into me, all you had to do was tell me. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. Good luck, Ashley. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. My name is Quentin. Hi, Quentin. I have a question for you. Okay. I have a cousin that loves to come over and hang out, but she stays way too long. Oh. So how do I give her the hint that it's time for her to go? Would I be rude? Well, you're just going to have to talk straight. But I have to be honest with you, Quentin. Yeah. If I was the one who stayed too long and my friend said that to me, my feelings wouldn't be hurt. I'd be like, girl, really? Oh, why did you say something? It's, I don't think it's the worst thing to tell somebody they're overstaying their welcome. Do you? Yeah. Just 
tell her. Yes. Yes. Good luck, Quentin, and your beautiful teeth. Uh huh. How are you doing? I've been staring at you the whole show. I love your outfit. Thank you. All right, so how are you I'm doing? I'm Sophia, and I'm a freshman in college, and I really want to join a sorority, but my mom thinks that I'm going to turn boy crazy and go to parties every single night. What should I tell her to make her think I just want to get involved on campus? Okay, well, first of all, did your mom go to college? Yes. Okay. Well, then she should probably know being in a sorority doesn't make your boy crazy. You can be <laughs> boy crazy and party on your own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, with that said... It's great that you want to be a sorority girl, but I'm going to take this another direction. I don't think sororities are for freshmen. I think that freshmen need to concentrate on being away from home, concentrate on your academics, and I know that you want to make friends, but you want to know what? Learn to be an independent spirit before you join an organization. And I would say, look at the sorority for spring of sophomore year. Okay? Very good. Good luck. Up next, everybody, uh, what would you do? If you found a flirty text from another woman in your boyfriend's phone. Uh, tell, tell me the story. I found a text message in my boyfriend's phone. So he went to a wedding and no problem. He wanted to network with other people. I have no problem with that. But when he came back, I found a text message from the girl last week and it was a little bit inappropriate. What did I it didn't... say? What did it say? It was just a little flirty, a little what sexual. Oh, I don't really want to put him on blast like that. Well, but... come on. Come on. You, you, I mean, you're already in the water. You might as well swim. I might as well, right? Yeah, what did it say? But she was just like asking when's the next time she's coming down there. They were talking about like making arrangements to meet up and stuff like that. And I was just like, well, where does she live? She lives in Florida. And where do you live? We live in Jersey, but if she's making plans to come up here or whatever's going to happen, I'm like, So what's your, I, what's your question? Should I say something? Uh, it, hello. Exactly. And you say it loud and don't smile. Exactly. That's okay. going to be a little stern, yeah, but I didn't, you know. There's something rotten going on. Exactly. How you doing? Hey, Wendy. My name is Jasmine. How you doing? Good, Jazz. How can I help? So, recently, me and my boyfriend of six years just broke up about a week ago. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What happened? It's a long story. Okay. It's not even relevant. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, in December for my birthday, he bought me these really expensive diamond earrings. So since we're not together anymore, I was wondering if I should give it back to him, if I should... <laughs> I should sell them. We're not together anymore, so. Excuse me. <laughs> now, I know a lot of tackiness goes on in this show, but my parents did teach me a little bit of civility. Okay. Personally speaking, I would give them back to him, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because, first of all, if the breakup was his fault, that's mm -hmm. a smack in his face. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. damn, she doesn't even want my but earrings. they're really pretty, though. They're like... <laughs> Then why? You, I mean, you're I mean, asking. Like, I really, I really don't want them, but then I, give, give them back to him. Okay. Give okay. them back. That will have him tossing and turning. You ask a right. woman of a particular age, and she will tell you, giving back gifts hurts a man worse, worse. than keeping them and selling them on eBay. Okay. okay. Good luck, Jazz. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Michael. How you doing? <laughs> How can I help you? So my fiance and I are allergic to dogs, okay. so he's decided he'd like to get a pet pig. Okay. Now, they're really cute, and I want to make him happy, but uh, I've spent years renovating my house, and I don't want a pig running around the house. <laughs> so uh, what, do you, what do I do? Um, first of all, who's cleaning up after that? I know that, exactly, that people right? have pigs, but generally they're the Hollywood people who have 25 people living in their house to clean up stuff. I wouldn't get the pig. What about a cat? We're allergic to cats. Okay, well, guess what? I'm not allergic to anything. My husband's allergic to everything. I would love to have an animal, but we don't. Oh, well, oh, hell. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Uh, and I would, love to I would love to have an animal, you know? Right. I'm sorry. We get stuffed animals. Yeah, stuffed animals or a turtle. Or a turtle. <laughs> They're good. How you doing? Hey, Wendy, how you doing? My uh, name's Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, I recently broke up with my boyfriend. We dated for three years, and he broke up with me through a text message. Oh. Now, for, for the last time, like for a year now, he's been trying to get back with me through text messages, and I've ignored him, but he just hasn't stopped, and I don't know why he doesn't get the hint. What should I do next? Okay. First of all, that's horrible that he no. broke up with you through text. I would not yeah. think of answering his text. You can either, A, continue to ignore his text, because it's really no skin off Kelsey's back, you know what I'm saying? Let him keep saying, or B, text him back something really, really civilized, mm. and, like, leave me alone. I you, don't want any part of you. You MF. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. Good luck. How you doing? Hi. Uh -uh -uh -uh. <laughs> Communication 101. You never let go of your microphone. 
How you doing, Wendy? How you doing? I'm Christina. Hi, Christina. I recently made a membership on a dating site, and my boss found me, and he started liking all of my photos. So I think he's into me, but he's 45, and I'm 20 years old, and he's sexy. And what's your question to me? Should I ask him out on no. a date? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, what do you want with that old man? No, no, honestly, honestly. Honestly, Christina, you're a beautiful girl. Stunning. But and you got a dimple in your chin and everything. A 45-year-old man wants nothing to do with a 20-year-old girl except for to have a good time and then leave you on the side of the road. That's number one. Number two, a 45-year-old man's life is too complicated for a young, vibrant girl like you. There's layers of women, maybe an ex-wife, maybe a wife, <laughs> children, and the whole bit. Leave that man alone and please ignore that he's liking you, okay? Okay. Ignore that. Okay. okay. How you doing? Doing. Good. I'm Ashley. Hi, Ashley. So I've been dating this guy a couple of months. He's a health addict. Oh. And he's driving me bananas. Okay. So we go into the movies. I got popcorn and a hot dog. He snuck in some pineapples. Okay. Um, <laughs> how old are you, Ashley? 28. 28. Um, and you've only been dating him for two months? Yeah. What's your question to me? Does that sound like a deal breaker? Because yes. I'm all fried chicken out. No, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. You got to learn how to eat some baked chicken in with that fried chicken. I That's mean, fine. you know, but, That's but, fine too, we don't, but it's chicken. We don't need some man being the boss of our bodies. That's what That's I true. say. He's already started giving me tips and stuff. This is a deal breaker. Deal breaker. De deal breaker. You won't tell me what to put in my mouth. Have a seat. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Come on. Hi, Wendy. Hey, how you my doing? My name is Tarita. Hi, Tarita. And I have a question of. Lately, people have been coming up to me and try to root me. My coworkers, strangers, and they're all up in my what? head. And okay, to root somebody means that you believe that they have a weave or a wig. So you want to root up in the, with your fingers and try to feel the and business. And they try to do it on the low, too. Like, oh, your hair looks so natural. Okay, first of all, I would be the type to ask to root, because I rooted Kenya when she was here. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But you do it once, and then that's that. Let it go. You are not some circus clown for people to be rooting your hair. You tell them it is natural. You snap your head back. And so don't... I should say no, like, no, don't. No, no, don't, no. And, and they can think what they want about your hair. Mm -hmm. But it's, can I root you? <laughs> no. No, I'm only, I'm only playing. I know the look of natural hair. It's natural from the top to the bottom. I say there's no tracks in there or anything. No, no, it's Let not. me say. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm playing. Don't let people do that to you. You're not a side show. show. Don't let them do that. Hi. Hi, Wendy. My name is Erica. How are you doing? How are you doing, Erica? So tomorrow's my 37th birthday, and I want to do something really different. Okay. So I want to get a nice tattoo on my arm, a Hamsa hand. But my husband, uh -huh. a Hamsa hand. What's that? So it's a Middle Eastern hand, and it's for good luck. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, so okay. it has a nice little evil eye in the middle. Oh, okay. So my husband thinks I'm too old for it, and he thinks it's going to look ratchet. But <laughs> should I go against his wishes and get it anyway? Because it's my birthday. <laughs> I think that you shouldn't get it. Even if, it, even if it was something that he was okay with. I just say, rethink tattoos. Like, everybody has them now. The more special person, and we've talked about this, the more special people are people who have not marked their bodies up. Take it from somebody who has a tattoo. I wish I didn't have one. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ugh, of course, my tummy tuck. <laughs> Well, it has a little significant, um, it has my son's initials in it. I already have the design. I'm just waiting for, like, the green light. But... Can't you get it someplace besides on your arm, then? Can you get maybe it? my rib cage? Maybe on your rib okay. cage, because you never show that. That's and fair. so it wouldn't be as ratchety. <laughs> okay? I'm open to it. I just want to get that, too. But I thought it was really nice under my arm, under my muscle. And maybe something small. Uh, uh, maybe it's small. <laughs> Rip cage, I think I'll get a much larger. Uh, uh, okay. No. no. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday. Good luck with your decision. Okay. I still say don't do it. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you doing, sir? Hi, Wendy. I'm Franny. How are you doing? Hi, Franny. How can I help you? Uh, well, I'm been married 35 years, and I'm thinking about retiring at the end of this year. Uh -huh. And I've been talking to my wife lately, and she's like, I don't know if I could put up with you being home 24-7. <laughs> so I'm thinking, should I let her retire first, keep working, or how can I, you know, what should I do? Because she's thinking about retiring also? Yes. Why don't you let her retire first? Because I get that. Like, when people are retired together, then you're sitting in the house staring at each other, and oftentimes that spells disaster. Why don't you let your wife retire first? 
Are you okay to work another year? Sure. Uh, then, and then you work another year, and then you retire afterwards. And for the for the next year, um, Franny, you you have to think about what you want to do, so you're not up under each other. And you know what? You you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that'll give her a year to set the rules. It's, it's, <laughs> Happy wife, happy there, life. There you go. All right, Franny, thank you. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> you so, practiced that, didn't you? You know I did. <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Lulu, and like you, I like to say it like I mean it. Uh huh. So when my friends come to me with, you know, relationship questions, I always give them my honest opinion. Uh -huh. They don't like it. Mm -hmm. We end up in a fight. So, like, next time they come up to me, you know, with a question for it, or advice, mm -hmm. do I tell them how I feel? Keep my mouth shut or just tell them what they want to hear. Never tell them what they want to hear because, <laughs> because that's you lying to yourself yeah, and lying to them. Exactly. Um, and definitely don't say it like you mean it anymore because they, <laughs> they can't handle your truth. A lot of people Absolutely. can't handle people like you, Lulu, Absolutely. and me. <laughs> See? So is... what I would say is I'm going to stay out of your business. I'm going to stay out of grown people's business. Because the last time I gave you advice that you solicited, mm -hmm. you didn't like what I had to say. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. And remind them that they asked, you answered, and they didn't like it. Yes. Good luck, Lulu. Thank you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. How are you Hi, doing? Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? I'm so Haley. Hi, Haley. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Um, so my friends hooked me up with this guy. He's really, really nice, totally different than what I usually go for. So I was like, I'm going to give him a shot. And I go out on a date with him to a really nice restaurant. He wanted to wine and dine me. Get to the bill. All of a sudden, he lost his money. <laughs> So what do I do, Wendy? Do he wants to take me out again? Do I go? Okay. No. Well, no. Take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. How old are you? Twenty. And how old is he? He's twenty-five. Okay. Well, here's what you do. <laughs> because sometimes things happen. Maybe he really did lose his money. You yeah, know how yeah. men are stupid sometimes. Exactly. That's what I and you said you had a good time with him, right? I did. I had so what a you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for him to ask you out again. When he does, uh, you're gonna remind him to make make sure that he brings his money. Bring the wallet. And, and listen, and, and you'll make it like you look so adorable when you laugh. So you know you're gonna make a laughter joke about it, so yeah. he understands that you were, you're acknowledging it. Mm -hmm. But don't forget your money, honey. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So good luck, right. Haley. Um, wait. Well, are we gonna go into the break? All right. Bye.